Hello everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. In this week's Parsha, Parsha's Kisavo, the Torah teaches us something that we can take as a lesson for us to prepare us for the upcoming Yom Nim Naroim, the great days of all, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So the Torah says that when we come to the land, we'll bring the first of fruits, we'll bring them as a gift to the Kohen, the high priest, and the Torah then says, "V'samachta b'chol hatov, asher nasan Hashem lekech lecha," and you shall rejoice with all the good that Hashem, your God, has given you. Our sages teach us that during this month, the month of Elul, which is the month that precedes Rosh Hashanah, it is best to be marbet b'tachnunim to increase in requests and supplication. And what we want to figure out here is what is this idea? that why should this kind of be a key before Rosh Hashanah, before the great day we proclaim Hashem as king, why should we start asking Hashem for more things? And one of the answers is, is, is that it is our job before we make Hashem king to make Hashem more real to us. And therefore, when you get in your car, ask Hashem to make sure you have a safe trip to wherever you're going. When you get to work, ask Hashem, to make sure that your business dealings go, go successfully. When you go to the doctor, even for a regular checkup, ask Hashem to make sure that everything is going to work out well and you should walk out 100% healthy. On your way to the grocery store, thank Hashem that you have enough money to pay for it. And we have to just continue to ask Hashem, even for the small mundane things, that we take for granted during this month. Why? Because when we do that, we're making Hashem more real. A person's chief function in this world is to gain as much awareness of Hashem as possible. Certainly during the month before we start to proclaim Hashem as being our king. And therefore the Torah tells us in this week's parasha, you should be rejoiced with all the good. It means this is a time now to start concentrating on all the good. And when we concentrate on all the good, we realize how rich we are and that thereby it gives us a happiness. Our focus is sometimes on what we don't have, but really our focus should be on what we do have. So the Torah is teaching us, if you want to be happy and you want to be able to come in front of Hashem and bring Him an offering or bring a gift to the Kohen, the best way to do it is to come with this humility, bring a gift to Hashem who gives you so much you want to give back and one of the best ways to give back is to give to say blessings or to thank to say thank you to Hashem by recognizing all that good. That is the best way that we make Hashem more real in our minds. And hopefully, when we get to the great day of Rosh Hashanah, we are then easily much easier. It's much easier for us to then proclaim Hashem as King. I want to wish you all a Ksiva Chasima Tova, and I just want to to wish you all the best and hopefully we'll speak a little bit more about Rosh Hashanah coming up. Talk to you soon. Thank you for listening.